What's up guys, this is Sehaman and today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, final figure from the NECA Series 7 uh, Predator. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Predator 2. This is the City Hunter Predator. This is what, the third third figure, fourth figure we've gotten from uh, this the City Hunter. We got, we got one in the two-pack, we got one unmasked, and then we got a, a San Diego Comic Con uh, exclusive cloaked version. And then now we have this one. So this is the third cloaked uh, Predator figure we ha we have. I don't have the um, um, the two pack or the unmasked one on hand. On hand, they're actually put away in storage. But from the looks of it, it looks to be the same exact figure, except maybe one of the accessories he comes with, which is the um, skull and spine there. But either way, you know, I don't mind having another one. It's still a really cool figure. So there's the packaging on this. You can see City Hunter. So over 25 points of articulation includes a smart disc, extended spear, and skull and spine accessories. Packaging is pretty much similar to all the other Predators. We've got the Predator right there on the side. Some Predator, you know, writing. Picture of the Predator. Turn it around. We've got the bio. We've got a picture of City Hunter and the other figures from this series. So aliases, ghost, weapons, disc net launcher, plasma caster, and wrist blades, the lost hunter, a clan shrouded in mystery, travels in of both time and space. The predators exist to hunt and they adhere to a strict code of honor where defeat is equal to death. So that's the read-up. Let's go ahead and take this predator out of packaging. We'll take a closer look. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so here we have the city hunter outside of the packaging. And uh, this is a really nice figure off the bat. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure this is a repaint from the city hunter that we got in the two-pack can't really be too sure I have my figure put away in storage but um, either way I mean I'm still happy with this figure it looks very very nice uh, let's see here so as far as accessories goes he does come with his extended little uh, uh, spear staff uh, let's see here so take this out as you can see here it's um, obviously extended I think in the two pack the one we got was um, it wasn't extended it was just half of this and uh, if you guys want to take a close look at the detailing on the little spear you can see it's got little buttons right there here's the end there's the other end so it's pretty it's a pretty long um, uh, weapon pretty cool though you just slide it through his hand so this is one thing you get and of course we get another one of those uh, discs right that uh, scene right here one of those smart discs So there's that, and he does come with a skull and spine. Now these are always really cool to have. You can see it looks kind of wet. Um, I wish um, we, we did get more of these in each Predator figure. I think it would be really cool to have a collection of these. You can see it's got some blood stains on it. Very, very, very nice. Definitely a cool accessory. Um, I don't know if it's really posable. I guess it is kind of posable. But really cool. They give it they really give it a a great little um uh a look with it, it having that uh, wet look to it. So really cool. Um you can slide this in his hand, I believe. Or you can just open up his fist a little bit and you can pose him either with the spear staff thingy or just holding this neck and spine or skull and a spine which is really cool so we'll take that off him and let's get a close look at the um, helmet I'll go over this review really quick because I'm pretty sure this is just like a repaint but a very very nice figure they did a great job in the um, a paint and the sculpting in the in the mask it looks really really good uh, he does have his little uh, cannon here, which does have articulation. It can rotate. You can see the dreads. Very nice. You got the back armor. You can see the detailing on the skin and also the netting. Um, here's his like retractable little claws he has here. They do go in and out. Here's all his, all his little accessories that he has here. 
little skirt thingy, little bag that he has right here, made out of bones. It's on a little rope. There's the torso. You can see the netting, the detail on the skin. I do like how the hands look on this guy. Some more shoulder armor. Here's the legs, that's where the um, smart disc goes. Some leg armor. And then here's the feet. So this is a really nice figure. Um, if you guys missed out on the two pack, then you guys have a chance obviously to pick up this uh, City Hunter Predator because I think single carded, I think he was only released in, un in an unmasked version and in the uh, uh, Comic Con cloaked version. But this is still a fantastic figure. Definitely highly recommend you guys pick this up. Um, again, I can't really say 100% if it's a repaint or if it's just the same figure that we got already from the City Hunter, either way I still picked it up. Um, but it's still it's still a fantastic Predator and if you're a fan, I mean I know you guys are gonna end up picking this figure up anyways. Now as far as articulation goes on this guy, the head does go up and down, very little does rotate. Arms do go in and out, forward and back, it's got a bend at the bicep. Uh, let's see here, rotation in the, uh, in the wrist also goes in and out. Got a little rotation in the uh, lower arm as well. Rotation at the waist. The legs do go in and out. They go forward and back. Double jointed at the knees. Foot goes in and up and down. And can kind of rotate. And the legs kind of have a rotation as well. Uh, so that's that's the uh, review here on the City Hunter Predator. He does come with. Yeah, my camera kind of died on me there, but uh, like I was saying, he does come with a few accessories. He does come with the smart disc. He comes with this uh, extended little spear, which is really nice, and he does come with the uh, very cool skull and spine. So, okay, guys, so this is my review. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, I went over it really quick because it's pretty much just to me. It's 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 the same figure as the uh, uh, Predator Two City Hunter Predator that we already got. I mean, as far as I know, like too bad I can't do a comparison. But um, anyways, this is Sehaman. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. And uh, today we're taking a look at the Series Seven Predator Two City Hunter Predator. Take care.